Researchers inside this lab at Texas A&M University are at the forefront of veterinary medicine. They're developing advanced radiation, 3D printing technology, and working on other major breakthroughs. Tonight, Channel 2 anchor Sarah Donchi, herself a devoted pet guardian, takes us inside that facility, revealing the treatments and the training, helping pets live longer, healthier lives. Come on, buddy. Let's go. This is Teddy, a six-year-old Shih Tzu. He looks like any happy, healthy dog, but... You don't expect to hear devastating news like that so early in a dog's life. Teddy was diagnosed with cancer and only given days to live. We knew that if we lost him, it would be more than just losing a pet or just losing a dog. It was really like a family member. Teddy's owner, Ben, was down to his last options. So with time running out, Ben and Teddy headed off to the veterinarians at Texas A&M University in College Station. Every day, they are using breakthrough treatments to save pets that until recently would have had little hope to survive. Like 3D virtual reality. Pulled up a heart and spun it in the air and saw all the sides of the heart and how to approach it. We can do that in veterinary medicine now too. Dr. Scallon is the director of the Clinical Skills Lab at Texas A&M. Take an image from CT or MRI and convert it to that 3D image and then when the surgeon gets ready to go in and do the surgery, they can plan before they can pull up the spleen that has a mass in it. Many times we kind of get the worst of the worst. Dr. DeVoe is both an oncologist and a physicist. Cootie came to him all the way from New Jersey with full body skin cancer. Cootie needed advanced radiation with this machine, tomotherapy. It's only one of a handful worldwide used on animals, but the power of the radiation would have been too much for Cootie. Dr. DeVoe used a 3D printer to print a full body cast to protect Cootie. It would help limit that dose to the, superficially to the patient. The other big advantage is, is that you guarantee that they're in the correct position. A&M isn't just breaking barriers with complex cases of cancer. They're also helping pets who've swallowed a sock or who get clipped by a car. Believe it or not, this isn't a real dog. It's a synthetic cadaver. A surgical canine model. So it's, it's a large dog about the size of a German Shepherd. These models actually breathe and bleed. So the students get the practice of not just doing the surgery. They actually get the practice of standing there and knowing that their patient is bleeding and they feel that their patient is breathing and it's very stressful. With the Sindaver, students can realistically practice surgically retrieving a sock from a dog's belly or repairing a spleen after a dog was hit by a car. They come with Android tablets that make the blood pump harder and faster. So we can recreate that stress and make it happen on a model before they go to the live animal, and then they walk in and they're comfortable. So far, A&M has purchased 15 of these dogs. What we do in there is we try to find all the newest and greatest innovations and add those to the, what the students are already learning. And in the near future, A&M will be the first school in the world with horse model Sindavers. In College Station, Sarah Donchi, Channel 2 News.